everyone. I'm Professor Word. I'm from a YouTube series called Shonen Island Films The Educational Series. So far we have covered English grammar and human anatomy. If you want to check out these videos, go to the official Shonen Island Films YouTube channel and check out the playlist. Well, I can guarantee you that today's episode is not going to be a pleasant one because today we're going to be talking about plagiarism. Plagiarism is where you use someone else's work and claim it as your own. And trust me, this can get you into a lot of trouble. Now, plagiarism can actually go beyond English grammar. The use of copyright footage, music, or dialogue can also be considered as plagiarism. Plus, it's a crime and you could go to jail for it. Whenever a professor at a college notices the use of information that the student claims as their own that isn't theirs, the professor has every obligation to report the student's paper and kick the student out of the class. The student might receive even more punishment from the college or school by being expelled. And once you're expelled, it's added to your academic record. And I'm pretty sure you don't want that. So how do you get out of the danger zone of plagiarism? Well. First and foremost, as you're writing your essay, you must cite your sources. You can either cite your source on the actual essay, or you can create a bibliography sheet. It's basically a sheet where you write out the information of the source you're using for your essay. The sources could come from books, quotes, poems, short stories, essays, TV shows, movies, and yes, even websites. Now you must remember that as you're researching for your paper that you use different sources. I mean if you just only use one source, well that's not going to help your essay. Also don't copy word for word what your resource says. I mean this is your essay so write it how you would write it. Just make sure you watch your grammar. So how do you cite your sources on the bibliography page? Well. First, we use a format called MLA, which means Modern Language Association. You can look up more information at your library or the internet. Now let's use an example. Suppose we use a quote from Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in our essay. Well, we can't claim that we were the ones that said the quote since it's in the book. So we need to cite it. First, we write who wrote the book. Next, we need the title of the book. Now we need the year the book we're using was published, and also the company that distributed the book. You can even write down the page number the quote is on. So that's how you cite a source for a book. Now let's try a different one. How do you cite a source for a movie? Well, first you write down the name of the movie. Second, you write down the full name of the director. Third, you write the distributor of the film, the year it was made, and what kind of medium it is. What I mean by medium is the type of format for the video you're watching. A TV show, a film, or internet episode. Like the one you're watching right now. Let's use one more example on how to cite a source. Let's try citing a website. So the way to write a cited source for a website would be, one, Last, then first name of the author. Two, the article title. Three, the website name. Four, the publisher. Five, page number, if there are any pages. Six, the date, month, then year of when the article was made. And seven, the link for the website. Keep in mind that the website link is only necessary if the professor asks for it. Most of the time, it's not necessary. There are other ways than how to cite your sources in an essay, but the one I just showed you is the basic form. In some cases, you can give clues through your essay showing that you have cited your sources. At the very end of the sentences, you would cite your source in parentheses. However, it is recommended that you have a separate page for your sources. So be sure to cite your sources and create a bibliography sheet for your essay or else you'll get an F and probably even get dinged for plagiarism. Gosh, I feel like I've been saying cite your sources a lot in this episode.
Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you thought this video was useful, hit the thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated. In my next episode, I'm going to be talking about scantrons. What are those exactly? Well, find out next time. Okay. Class dismissed. Bye. Hey there you guys, Sean Allen here, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see my other channels here on YouTube, over on the left side of the screen is Sean Allen Films of Vlog Series, and over on the right side is Sean Allen Films of Disneyland Video Series. Please check them out and subscribe to them. And if you want more information about the educational series, check out the official Twitter and Facebook pages. And as Professor Word said, please subscribe to this channel for more educational videos. Well that's all for today, so until next time... Keep on learning! <sighs> I'm recording, right? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, hello! <laughs> that was totally inappropriate. Watch this, 3D. I don't know if that made anything, but... <laughs>